The tick-borne disease, anaplasmosis, can take a toll on cattle. As many as 50% of adult cattle over the age of three will die from the disease if left untreated. Treating this bacterial infection can cost farmers as much as $400 per cow, a cost that is passed on to consumers at the store. Each of these little bars represents somewhere around 300 bases or so. But new research could help find a vaccine for the anaplasma bacteria that affects a cow for life and costs the cattle industry hundreds of millions of dollars each year. These are the individual nucleotides here. University of Florida researchers have mapped out the genetics of multiple strains of the bacteria. By finding out what the different strains have in common, researchers have clues to find a vaccine to prevent the illness. And hopefully it will help lead us to developing a better vaccine system because there have been a couple of vaccine systems in anaplasma that have been proposed before um, and none of them are perfect so we keep working towards getting a better vaccine system um, and, and hopefully one of these days we can develop a vaccine that will be safe and effective. Researchers say there are about 20 known strains of the anaplasma bacteria that makes cattle sick. Finding similarities between the strains in cattle may also help create breakthroughs in human diseases. These pathogens are very similar to several human pathogens and by studying these animal models we can get a better idea of what's going on with some of these human pathogens uh, and hopefully be able to contribute some ideas as far as control of human disease as well as animal disease. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.